is running errands in Ghana? Don't worry anymore. Sumafo is a mobile app that enables you to run errands in Ghana in a safe, affordable and fast way. Our services are caring and assistance services. We'll visit your elderly relatives and connect them to needed health care. Errand services will buy and send groceries, birthday cakes, supplies to homes, offices and schools. Confirmation services will provide third-party confirmation video for contractors' work. And personal representation services will represent you at functions such as funerals and marriages. Download the Sumafo app on Google and iOS stores and enjoy the convenience of running errands in Ghana at your fingertips. Sumafo, send your love home. Guys, I welcome you live on SVTV Africa. When it comes to social issues, entertainment, and sports, it's SVTV Africa. My name is simply DJ Nyam. If you just chance on our channel, recommend to your friends. We have a lot of videos to watch which would interest you. So um, you have to join the family. Just tap on subscribe, share, tell your friends about SVTV Africa, the voice of the community. Studio section, this program is called Daily Hustle. Yeah, we are coming to talk about hustling because we all hustle. So this show is open to all. If you want to come on our program, it's simple. You can, we can do that uh, online, video call, or you can come to studio to share some of your lifestyle, experience, and all that with us. My name is simply DJ Nyame. Tap on subscribe. Tell your friends about SVTV Africa, the voice of the community. Today, I have a lovely lady. She's Bamushos Bamusis. When I say Bamushos Bamusis, you people know already. If you don't know, it means... You see, she get a baka, the back view. Uh -huh. I'm coming to have a chat with her. You want to know her, what she's into, lifestyle and all that. So it's just a free vibe, nothing scripted. So uh, let's go straight, go have a chat. A beautiful lady, I welcome you live on SVTV Africa. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good, good. I can see you are fine. Are you relaxed? Yeah, sure. Oh, nice one. What's her name? Teresa. Teresa what? Koroma. Teresa Kuruma. Yeah. Oh, you are from where? Sierra Leone. Oh, I see. Sierra Leone. Which part of Sierra Leone? Freetown. Freetown, the capital, eh? Mm. How long have you been in Ghana? Well, I'm in and out, in mm. and out. So, like four to five years. But four to five years. Yeah, not stable per se. Oh. So, what brought you to Ghana? Business. Business. Yeah. What kind of business? I sell lady stuff. I send them to Sierra Leone. Mm. I have my friend who sell for me. Okay. Yeah. So that's what you do. But before coming to Ghana, what what did you hear or what did they tell you before you decided to come to Ghana? Ghana is peaceful. It was my friend. Mm. Your friend? Yeah. A male friend? No, female. Female friend. You met her through what? The, the online hallway? No, no. Like she was my schoolmate, but she traveled and came here first to... When she go back, she was like, ah, Ghana is peaceful and nice, so you like the... Mm -hmm. So that's why you came to visit? Yeah, so I have to, by then, I have to run away because I was under my family. My dad was still alive, so I have to run away and come to Ghana. But later on, so they just let me be. Oh, okay. So I stay so since I've been in and out. In and out, okay. Yeah. We will come back to Ghana, but let's go back to Celerion. Mm. So you said Celerion, tell me about it. Is it. What were you doing in Freetown? Yeah. Free Lifestyle there. Which tribe are you coming from? Freetown is a beautiful mm. place. Mm. You like to be in Sierra Leone. We are, we are nice people though. Mm. Yeah, I was helping my mom in a business when I was back there. How many siblings do you have? We are six. Six. Three boys, three girls. So you are the first born? I'm the third. Third born. Yeah. Okay. So what were you doing? I was schooling. Schooling. Mm. So like the um, senior college or what? Senior high? Senior high. Okay. Then after school, what next? After school, I was doing a course in co computer course in Sierra Leone. So when I'm done, so 
a friend, as I told you, mm. a friend led me to come to mm. Ghana. Why did you choose to go into computer? Do computer yeah, course? Yeah, because my dad was having a school, so I wanted to... Your dad owns a school? Yeah. Okay. So I wanted to do a computer, so I'll, I'll be working in the school as a secretary, but mm. unfortunately, I had to come to Ghana. Mm, I see. Okay, so um, in Celerion, tell us which tribe are you? You guys have tribes, yeah, so yeah. which tribe are you? Um, Limba. Limba? Yeah. Mm, how do you say, how are you in Limba? Wali. Wali? Then I'll respond. You said, yo, Wali, ne? Okay, so when I say <laughs> Wali, yeah. then. You, yeah, like if you tell me, yo, Wali. Mm -hmm. I said Waline. Waline, that means I'm fine. Yeah, Namina oh. Kotoku. How how are you? Oh, Labina Kotoku. <laughs> <laughs> Labina Kotoku, then I'll say what? Namina Kotoku. Ah, Namina Kotoku. <laughs> yes. Oh, Namina Kotoku. Mm. Then I'll say what? Kalalankanu. Kalalankanu. Yes. I had a child, and I had a baby. Okay, back then in Freetown. Uh, what are some of you, you can tell us some of your culture, some of the things that you guys do there, your culture, life? Mm, in terms of culture, I can't say that much. Mm. The kind of food you eat. The... Yeah, our stable food is rice. We always eat rice. rice. Mm. And different always rice. Sauce. Yeah, mm. like in Sierra Leone, even if you eat anything, if you do not eat rice, you still, I will still tell you, like, I've not eaten. Yeah, because rice is our staple food. Mm. Yeah. Is it imported rice or what? Yeah, or local, local rice, rice mm. imported rice, mm. anything rice mm. is our staple food. Mm. So apart from rice, you don't have these foreigners that they prepare, they sell their local food, so they sell their food. Yeah, they Like do. We, the way we have fufu and all those things, you don't have those yeah, things. Yeah, we do. We have fufu, but it's not like the Ghana fufu. Mm. Our own is just the cassava dough. Okay. Yeah. Lifestyle in Celerion itself, how is it? Like after school, getting a job, uh, lifestyle there, hustling there. Mm, lifestyle in Sierra Leone, after school, getting a job is not that easy. It's everywhere. Mm. It's in every country. Mm. You you go to school after university to mm. get a job, it's kind of difficult mm. because unless now they will unless you are highly connected mm. favor before mm. you have mm. a good job and all that so so most of the time girls start doing business after school they go on to business at least to keep themselves mm. busy not to depend on people have you tried mean. searching for job back in Celerion? no okay but you say your daddy had school. Yeah. So your main re focus was to finish school so and then you work with your daddy. So what happened? Then I told you, I travel. He was pissed though, but it's my life. They just. What, is, what do you mean by he was like, pissed? Be, he was angry when I left Leon to Ghana, mm. unknown to them. Mm. Yeah, but at the end, he just have to. When your friend, it, it, when your it, it, friend it, it, came to Ghana and invited you to come, and you plan coming, yeah. why didn't you tell your parents that? Oh, I want to travel to Ghana. Because they would never agree. They would never agree. So your parents were not aware. You just left. Yes. Without yeah. telling them. They would never agree. They would never. But you, you are lucky. You say your daddy have school. Mm. You can work with him, and he will pay you or you make money. So why you choose not to? to do that? Well, because I'm in that kind of Christian family, mm. like, I was so tight in the house, you can't even go anywhere, and also, the slight opportunity I have to run away, I have to. Is it like, is it like you like outing, you like chilling, uh, no, no, no. and then, <laughs> because you said Christianity, Christian yeah. family, mm they will not allow you to do certain things but yeah. you want to do certain things it's yeah, like what I want, like I want you want to your go freedom out with my friends you want free want your freedom, freedom yeah. Mm. yeah but your daddy have to control you like kind of like show you what to do yeah your parents <laughs> you, and you don't want that you won't understand i have to understand <laughs> that's why you are here so tell us 
like my dad, my dad, my mom, mm. and those kind of people, like, you always have to be in the house. Mm -hmm. You should not mingle with friends. Mm -hmm. Me coming out, even in school activities, like maybe sports, uh, after sports party and all that, they will not allow mm. us to, mm. to attend and mm. all. And me, I was having a set of friends, like they would go out, I would, like I would see them when we come to school, they would be like, uh, we went out, we went to the beach, mm. we went and have fun. So mm. like, so normally sometimes if I go out, me coming back, I have to go around and be begging people to come and beg for me before stepping back to the mm. house. Why well, your father will beat you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And use your age. I'm not grown for them to beat me. Mm. But do you think they are rather helping you or they are rather training you well? Yeah, they are helping me. They are training me well. Mm, but you don't want that. Everybody, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or oh, maybe you don't want it that way. <laughs> no, it's not like I don't want it that way. But me, I know human being. Mm. You can control yourself. It's not about how they will. Your parents will train you well in the mm. house. Mm. But you have your own self, how you want mm. to do your own thing. Mm. You get so like, I know what is good and I know what is bad. Mm. I know if I do this thing, it will affect my mm. family mm. name and so, so mm. I can't do it. Mm. So that is, so them putting pressure on me is like, I don't know what I'm even doing. So you, you are, your problem is they are not allowing you to do what you want to do. Yeah. To go out and do chill with friends and yeah. all that. That is your problem. With my, yeah. With so my that's your main reason why you you run away. Yeah. <laughs> Mata. Okay. So uh, when you met your friend, your friend told you about Ghana. That he said Ghana is nice, peaceful country and all that. Then you decided to come. Yeah. So is it by road or by flight? And how did you get money? Ah. Because you are not working. You say you are a student. You yeah. finished school. You didn't work. So how? <laughs> but I've been helping my mom to do his business. Mm. So I, I've been saving. You've been saving? Yeah. Okay. So when you came to Ghana, that was you said, five years ago. Yeah. When you came. Now let's talk about Ghana. When you came to Ghana, tell me. What your friend told you, did you witness the same thing? Coming to Ghana, you said uh, you started business. Tell us the kind of business you are into. Yeah, I used to go to Togo, buy stuff, send to Sierra Leone. And sometimes I sell here. Sometimes I have friends outside the country. They will call me, oh, you are in Ghana. Please, can you help me with those Ghana stuff, the, their contain and so, so. Yeah, but those clothing things that you are talking about, don't you sell them? Don't you have some those business in Sierra Yeah, I do. But most of them, they come to Ghana, Dubai, Guinea to get them because yeah, you will get you know in Sierra Leone they like like when you are doing business, you travel out of Sierra Leone, you come and buy your goods, so it will sell. So that's it. So you've been in Ghana for five years, hustling in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Are you staying with your friend or you are staying you are you are staying on your own now? I'm staying on my own. Okay. Rented apartment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You pay rent. You you do everything yourself. So now tell me. Mm -hmm. Lifestyle in Ghana. Life what are you doing to survive? Because the clothing alone will not survive you. As you can see, mm. I have I have somebody who is helping me though. Mm. Yeah. You have somebody who is helping you. Mm. A guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you are dating a Ghana guy now. Uh. <laughs> or you are doing men because I know some of the <laughs> girls they do this uh, hookup. They do all sort of things. I don't do hookup. Have you been into that before? I don't do hookup. I don't want to do hookup because I. I can date and have the guy who I'm not a liability mm. that will sit down and form my mm. hand mm. and my leg for me to wait to go and do hook up and risk my life. No. But have you I'm tried dating. before? I don't have any reason to try it because I'm not suffering. Mm. Those who are into it are the ones suffering. Maybe because they want to they want to live a life 
where they did not reach, they want to, because maybe some of them, it's not about anything. Maybe you see your friend is living a good life. You too, you don't know how she's living it. You want to live the same life. So you just, you just have to follow what mm. they are doing. Mm. But I don't have any reason to go to, to be doing OCOP and all. No, I don't have that reason because at least I can take care of myself in a basic way. Mm. Yeah, so that's it. And I have somebody who's helping me. So you have a boyfriend? Yeah, yeah, I do. He's helping you. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have been here for five years. So your parents, when they got to know that you are in Ghana, what happened? What did they say? What would they say? I'm here already. They talk, they talk, they talk. I should return back. I didn't know. They later, I told them, okay, I've gotten a relationship. So... They are talking to the guy. They know I'm with somebody. So they let me be. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now they know that you are on your own now. Yeah, I'm on my you own. You are with somebody. You are dating a Ghanaian guy. <laughs> eh? I'm not dating a Ghanaian guy anyway. Oh, I thought you said you are dating. I'm dating, but it's not a Ghanaian guy. Oh, it's guy. not a Ghanaian. It's from no. where? It's is he a white, is he a white, white man? No, he's still a black. Or oh, a Nigerian guy? And I don't know, no. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you, you are a beautiful lady. You are here. I know a lot of guys, men will change you and all that. Have you tried going out with one or two guys in Ghana? Yeah. You dated few guys in Ghana. Is it, should I call it dated or no? No dates. Like we just, it's just friends. We go out. What's their they wanted did not happen so they have to leave what do they want in ghana what i notice like you have you have body you have big eyes mm. they will they will come but not with any good intention at all mm. all what they they want to come to your body just have you and and go so that's so it so you have a few guys who have maneuvered to pass through. Yeah. Uh, so you've seen that, no, those no, who came, not, they are not real. It's not working. Mm, because because of your babushos, babushos <laughs> that they came. <laughs> eh? When you go out, the guy sees you, what did, what did they say? When the guy, the men see you, hey, and all hey, that, what did they say? Hey. I don't know why they are shouting, but they will be like, hey, hey, I don't know. So. Hey, know. what? I don't know what and because they of what you have, that's why they say, hey. I, I so they call you and all that. They take your number, they propose well, to you, well, or what? I'm the kind of I just don't give my number out like that. Mm, you don't give your number out, no, if but I'm they not. stop you. A lot of men stop you, yeah, sure. because of your baka. No, I mean, it's normal. Mm, no, it's normal. Mm. Oh, I see. But you say you like chilling. Are you still do into the chilling stuff? You go out, yeah, yeah, sometimes. weekends, you yeah, go weekend. out, you mingle with. Uh, uh, the girls, girls, and all yeah, that. Girls, girls. But definitely, when you do girls, girls, that's where the men too will come in. When I do, uh, you can't stop them not to come. Hmm. They will come, then sit, you have fun. It depends on you, the person, how you are going to handle your life, how hmm. you are going to take care of yourself. Hmm. So, them coming is not a problem. How you handle yourself is the problem. That is it. I see. Do you smoke? Welcome to Second Generation IT Group. Hello, my name is Ferdinand Asamoah, Director of Second Generation IT Group. We've been in business for the past five years, and we have a lot of clients who have come through the school, and they're doing pretty well. We offer 18 weeks off site of course, which runs for every Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And people ask, why Second Generation IT Group? offer different courses in cyber. Cyber is kind of big, so we offer uh, risk management, we offer FISCOM, we offer cloud computing, we offer pin testing, and we also offer Splunk. Courses are offered virtually. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can just join the course without it. It's very convenient for everybody. You can reach us uh, on our social media, you can reach us on Facebook, you can reach us on Instagram, and you can also reach us on our website, which is uh, Second Generation IT Group LLC.com. The company that provides beyond excellence. Sometimes. Mm, you smoke weed. Mm -hmm. What made you start smoking? 
You started in Ghana, yeah. or way back from Sierra Leone. Oh, in Ghana. What made you start? Nothing. You just decided to smoke. Yeah. Not not through a friend or nobody, not peer pressure or nothing. No, no, nobody will pressure me to do what I don't want to do. Mm. It's my choice. It's my decision. Mm -hmm. I can't put it on anybody that, okay, because of my friend is smoking, that's why I start smoking. If I, if I say that, I'm just lying. Because they can't force it to me. I'm the one who just wants to do it. Mm. So why did you choose to smoke? Nothing. Nothing at all. For fun? Yeah. When you smoke, what do you get? I'll sleep. You sleep? <laughs> when you smoke, you sleep. Yeah. Now, if, when you, if you don't smoke, you can't sleep. I still, I can still sleep, but mm. it will be different. Oh, it will be different. Mm -hmm. Do you drink alcohol? Yeah, but not like mm. that much. Not that much. So smoke, drink. What about shisha? Shisha too is a smoke. Do you take in shisha? Uh -huh. So yours is weed? Yeah. What about jot? No. But have you tried before? I don't want to try it. I don't try it. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Accra stay by plan. I'm sure you have been hearing it. Yeah. Mm. So Accra stay by plan, dear. This is your clothing alone, no good solve. Oh. That's why I, I told you I have somebody. Oh, but if you have somebody, now everybody is hot. How often can he sponsor you? How often can he give you money? Any minute, any time, any hour. Yeah, every minute, any hour, he will send you money. Any time I want the money, he will be there. To okay, so time. your place that you rent, he is paying the rent. He is paying everything for you. Mm. Oh, okay, but. Looking at your life now, where do you want to take it to? Well, maybe, unfortunately, I'll travel. You travel where? To you want Europe. to go Europe? Yeah. You don't want to go back to your country. You want to go now. You want to go to so Europe. So what am I going So me going back and me staying here and me staying, me going to abroad is nothing different. Mm. Because anywhere I am, when I want to go back to Australia, I can still go. No. Why, why traveling? A lot of the youth, most of them want to travel. You think you can make it unless you travel, making it unless you, you travel outside it, Africa. You can make it anywhere. It depends on how you, you planned yourself. So why do you want to travel to Obodo Ibo before? It's not like traveling to go and stay. I just, it's just an experience like travel, okay. go and see another different lifestyle. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. you love traveling? Yeah. You have been in Ghana for five years. Where and where have you been to? Mm, Komasi, mm. Bolga, Cape Coast, Dakrade. Mm. To do what? To tour the place? To so just, like in Komasi, mm. my baby daddy, they are, they are mother size from Komasi. Oh, baby daddy. Okay, so yeah. meaning you have a kid? I, yeah, I have a boy. A boy. Oh, I, how old is he? It's four years. Four years. Okay, with your children. Now you have told us the baby daddy is coming from Kumasi. <laughs> <laughs> Before you were not saying it, so now your guy, your baby daddy is from Kumasi. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see. So you are still with him, eh? the same guy? It's late. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry about that. So your new guy there is not from Kumasi? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one talk. Celeron, uh, yeah. do you speak PG? Yeah. You speak PG. So you, you speak PG. Oh, okay. Okay, so in life, what have you learned? Moving from um, Celeron to Ghana, how do you see Ghana? Apart from peaceful and all that, how do you see Ghana? What is different here compared to your place? The difference is really we accommodate people. That's the truth. You accommodate people? Yes, we how? accommodate foreigners. Like, like we treat foreigners more than the way we even treat ourselves there. But Ghana, we don't treat foreigners nice. Not at all. Really? Yeah. Your I'm experience? It, yeah. Because How? sometimes, even if you are having an argument with a Ghanaian, the first thing they will be like, are you a Ghanaian? Even... We rather. Yes. And it's the truth. I've, I've had some problem with one Ghana girl before. Mm. Then we go to the police station. The first thing the police people will tell me is like, you foreigner, you are coming to fight a Ghanaian. It's not done. You don't even know what happened there. You are telling me I'm a foreigner and I come to fight a Ghanaian. It should not be like that. Mm. Yeah, because 
there are plenty Ghanaians in Sierra Leone. They are there. They can testify the way they are treating them there. We, we, we like. I'm we, surprised first time hearing it that I know Ghana. Yeah. We rather we know how to welcome foreigners mm -hmm. more than ourselves. So I'm you surprised you're you saying the this. The only people like, like maybe you met the wrong people. Let me tell you, I've been here. I know the people that they are accommodative in Ghana. Maybe the travelers when they know they have traveled to different countries and also they know how it is mm. when you are not in your country when mm. you are in another man land but the typical like from the from Komasi to Accra Accra to Komasi or Takade to Komasi if you meet those kind of people they're always like you're a foreigner mm. you come to Ghana and all that and first of all it's not every young girl that leave their country to Ghana that they think maybe the girl is here to do hook up or to do prostitution. Mm. Sometimes they get it all wrong. Yeah, there are plenty of girls from different countries that are living in Ghana that are doing those things you get. But it's not everybody. Then some people will just judge you by your looks. Mm. So they tell you this? Me I, me, I don't listen to what people say. What, mm. I, what really matters to me is what makes me happy. Because your word, your whatsoever you are saying, is not putting food in my table. It's not making me to get happy. And your word cannot make me to get sad too. Because I'm not giving you that chance. If you want noticement, it's not, you are not getting it from mm. me. That is it. But then now if you can see in the news, and it's, it's open, they are trafficking girls from Nigeria and all that. They are on the streets doing a shower, yeah. uh, hook up and yeah, all plenty. that. And so a lot of people will have this kind of perception. Yeah, that's why, like I said, it. it's not like, yeah, girls are here purposely because of that. But there are plenty decent girls too from different countries that are here. They mm -hmm. are very decent. They are not into all those things. How long will you be selling these clothing things? Because you say you went to computer school and you are not using it. So As long as it's putting food in my table. So how do you sell it? As I told you, I'm sending them to Sierra Leone. They will sell for you me. You buy from here and yeah. send it to Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone, don't you have used clothes? I'm not they don't sell used clothes. clothes. They oh. have plenty, but I'm not buying used clothes from there. Oh, so it's not a huge no. clothes. Okay, the no. Togo ones. Mm. Oh, okay. So why not move into Togo? Don't go and buy it from Togo and send it. Here. I want to stay here uh -huh. in Ghana. So that means why you want to stay in Ghana? You are getting something from here. <laughs> That's why you, don't, you want to stay in Ghana. You don't want to leave Ghana. I can leave Ghana at any time. <laughs> it's not like I don't You stay, stay. We are not sucking. You stay. But I just want to know why you love Ghana. It's not about anything. Mm. I, I, if I said it's peaceful to you, said no, I should not say Oh, no. We, we ask for the peaceful. Yeah, we all peaceful. know it's peaceful. Mm. If you don't find anybody problem, you will mm. not have problem. You get so. It's peaceful. Sometimes we can go out, me and my cousin, mm. we can go out, mm. then we'll, we'll come back, nobody will harass us and all. But in Celery, they will they were attack you, right? Yeah. So in Celery, you can't go out in the evening? Like, around, you, you can't leave your house just a lady around 2, then you think, that, yes, then you'll be walking freely to your place, no. They, they, what, what will happen to you? Ah, uh, if they did not take your phone, they will grab your bag and you know, so. Mm. Yeah, but I've never had that experience in Ghana, so Ghana is peaceful. Every yeah. weekend we are chilling. It's not every weekend, like sometimes some weekend when I get bored, I'll tell my cousin, let's go out. Mm. And then your I'll cousin? Go. Yeah. Okay, I see. So, what are you telling us? You said you, you ran from uh, Celerion to Ghana. Your parents <laughs> are mad at you yeah, for you they're living. Mad at me. They are mad at you for you living Celerion without letting them know that you are coming to Ghana. Yeah. So have you gone back to beg them? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I've been going 
I've been coming and I'm going and I'm coming. We are now in good terms. Or even though my father, they, even though when my my father is late, but mm. we settled before. Mm. Do you have friends that do? They are online, social media now, doing this hookup, doing quick money out. Do you have those kind of friends? Have you met some that uh, maybe they talk to you? They share some of their problems to you. No. Mm. I'm not. I have friends, but they are Syrianians and they are into business. They are not into those stuff. You know, I don't make friends like mm. we. Friends will meet out and talk and vibe. Then we depart from there. Not like that kind of friend. You know, my cousin is my friend. We shared everything together. She and me. So I don't need another. Do you have a lot of Salarians in Ghana? Yeah, they're here. Oh, mm. a lot, eh? Yeah. So you know most of them, yeah. and then the ones in Accra. Mm. Yeah, I do. Oh, okay. Anyway, what about uh, social media? I see you twerking, dancing, <laughs> and doing all sort of things on TikTok and all that. Social I'm just media. catching crews. And a lot they, of guys who come and DM you and all that. I don't even message. I they DM you. Yes. They I come do. and DM me, but you don't. You don't respond. Yeah, I don't even respond because you don't know me. You can't. You can't come to my page there. You'll be telling me I love you. I. You don't even know me. All you know, you, you, because of you are seeing my body, that is it. But you don't know me. Is the love coming from your heart mm. or because of what you are seeing? Mm. So that is sometimes I'll read the message, I'll ignore. Before you go out with a guy, what do you consider? What do you see? What, do you, what, do I, what are the things you look before accepting or going out with a guy? You should be responsible. Mm, talking about responsible, like, meaning money. You should have money. No, it's but not. One thing, money is, is not everything in a relationship, mm. you know. Mm. Sometimes but it's the key. Sometimes it's the key. Mm. Obvious, you know, when you have your girlfriend or whatever, you know you have to take care of her. Mm. But, like, I, if I want to, I want to. So what do you look at? Is it the body type? The, what, what else do you look at? I don't want slim guys. You don't like slim guys? Wow, so you like guy who is also a plus size, it like should, thick. It should be six pack or one pack. I don't pack. go for six pack, but at least I don't like slim guy, yeah, you know. Okay, somebody like me. Yeah. Uh, but me, I'm I'm slim. It's not slim. This is not the type of slim <laughs> I'm talking about. When you see slim, you know. Uh, <laughs> so the guys that they have, what about those that they have the one 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 chamber pot? You don't like. Talking okay, what about the height? Pack. Yeah, you should be tall. I, I'm, I, I'm not short. Mm, so you want, you can't date a guy who you Ooh, are taller I'm than. I'm taller than no. Oh, okay. And short people too, they have problems. So me, I don't. Ah, short people they have problems. <laughs> like what? What are some of the problems? Short people, they are hard to deal with. Please. Yeah. So, and me too. They are quick tempered. I, yes, and me too. I, I'm, I'm a quick tempered oh, person. Oh, you are quick tempered. So. Okay. So you can't date a guy who is also a quick tempered. No. At least. I can't because me too, I have quick temper. So mm. that's it. Mm. Oh, you you were talk, you were telling me about your your late boyfriend, your baby daddy. Mm. So who is supporting you now? Is the family supporting you? <laughs> Where is your son? Even my auntie. Your auntie, in Celerion. No. You have aunties here now. Yeah. But you said you, it's only your friend. You met your friend. It's through your friend that you came here. Now you have auntie. So when you talk about you can you can even have a mom here, mm -hmm. even though it's not your. Oh okay, real now, mom not a real so. family. Yeah, oh, but okay. you can have a family anywhere you mm -hmm. go. But why are you not taking care of it, uh, your your son? He's not with you. Why? He's always coming to me. But I know, but why is he not with you, as a mother? Because now you are doing your own work. Yeah, because where he's saying mm. he'll have another kid that they, they will play, he will play with, mm. at least me and him. So sometimes we can, he'll come to me, mm. then I'll drop him off. That's it. It's not about anything. I can say I'm the one taking care of myself. Mm. No, no family or whatever, not at all. Mm. I'm the one taking care of myself.
Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, Teresa, nice passing to you. Social media, what is the benefit? Are you making some money online? No, I'm just there to catch crews. Like, if I'm bored, I'll just go in. I'm just there to catch crews. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not making anything. Though. And now people are using the, the net to make, like, to kind of like, you say you sell clothing, so kind of sell things, make a whole sort mm -hmm. of stuff to get some money from there. Why are you not using it to sell your Because things? I'm not even always there. Mm. Maybe if I, when, when, when I'm bored, as I told you, when I'm, I'm bored, then me and my cousin will be like, okay, let's go to TikTok. If you check my TikTok, I don't even have plenty videos there because I normally don't even go there mm. all the time. But you said you are doing business. You are selling clothes. So I should. So you should so, have a post. So you have without, Instagram page without, or without uh, 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 TikTok, I was doing it. Without uh, Before, I don't put it there. I put it on my status on my WhatsApp because that is the place I have my contact and people that normally get stuff from me. So it's not that big that I'm going to. It's... It's a process. When you see, when, when you get when when the time come for me to open an Instagram page, it will come. I will do. So when you buy your stuff and you send it to Celerion, how often? How often does it get finished? How quick? It gets finished quick because sometimes I just don't buy it, and I have friends that they will be like, okay, they will order for me. Please, I want this, 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 this. Give them my price, then I buy them a thing. I heard that a lot of ladies now are doing cover up. What is cover up? Mm, they say they sell clothing and all that, but they are doing something else. That's their own. Everybody have their own life to live. You can't tell nobody how to live his or her life. How you want to live your life is your own cup of tea. It's none of my business, none of anybody's business. It's you, your life, and what you want to do. Just make sure. You are in the right path. That's it. Are you looking forward to establish yourself in Ghana without going back to Celebrity? Yeah. To stay here? Any, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Mm. What, what you are planning with, what God is planning for you, is two different things. Do you go to church? Yeah. Mm. What kind of church do you go? Winners. Huh? Winner's Chapel. Oh, Winner's Chapel. Okay. They will watch you. If you don't <laughs> come to church, they will see. If you don't come to church, you yet mention Winner's Chapel. Anyway, um, nice passing through. What, what, what last message do you have to say? A shout out to everybody who loves me. I love them back. My cousin, Mina, I love her. She knows. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to be here. Mm. I'm grateful. Nice one. Simple as ABC. Mm. Teresa, thanks for passing through SVTV Africa. Um, it's just a freestyle vibe. So you see, all what we are saying is just freestyle, nothing scripted. So if you want to come, come share something with us eh, on SVTV. What's your TikTok handle? Vicrisa. What? Vicrisa. Vicrisa. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you can follow her on TikTok. Uh, big visa. <laughs> anyway, uh, big shout out to my production team, DJ Click, Sharon and Tina. Like I said, if you want to come on the show, if you enjoy our vibe, tap on subscribe. And don't forget, we are bringing the Bamushos Bamushos, the big breast challenge. Uh, uh, big breast challenge. It's called Bamushos Bamushos. Yeah. Uh, breast cancer awareness campaign. Uh, SVTV. So we are going to display the big boobs. Machine then check. Heavy. Tundra. Breasting an alcohol for a chain. Heavy. <laughs> so don't forget, tap subscribe so that you get the videos to watch soon on SVTV Africa. When you see me in town, just say tour and I'll respond to tour. So tour, I'm out. Pew. <laughs>
to Ghana. If you want to transfer from USA, if you want to transfer from UK, Europe, Canada, a lot of places all to Ghana. And guess what? When it comes to Ghana, there's no e levy charge. <laughs> So, what are you waiting for? Download TapTapSend from Google Play Store and App Store and be ready for exciting offers coming your way each time, every time on TapTapSend. TapTapSend. Send more, spend less.